today I thought I'd do a few more experiments with this OLED display and uh, show you something else that I've discovered. I've been uh, uh, saving some things on the Pico to run automatically and some things on my computer as well. One thing I did notice when I open files on the Pico I don't have any option on Sunny to delete any. So for instance when I turn it on now my Flappy Bird game comes on. I might not want that for the moment so I, I need to delete that main.py or delete the menu and I've not been able to find a way to do it but uh, something that I don't think I played about with much when I started was typing things down here at the command line so you can do prints like so and it outputs it but you can also do these crazy imports there as well so if I do import OS it imports one of those modules. Now OS is operating system, I assume, but if I do OS and send the command list dir to it, it shows me what I've got on my Pico. So if you remember, I had there was another command that I used a few videos ago, which was dir, which showed you everything that a module had got. And I want to work out how to delete something off there. So if I do dir OS, I think I might need not sure whether I need a speech marks around that. No, I don't. And you see all the things that it can do, but one of them is remove. So if I go now, this will delete it. So if you want to really want to delete it, do it. I don't know if there's a way to get it back. But if I do os.remove and main.py, I do need these speech marks for this bit. And lister again, that's gone. I'm going to take off the menu one while I'm there as well. I've got that saved somewhere else. Interestingly, if you do the back arrow, at least on the Mac version of Thunny, if you do up and down, it lets you get go back to your history and what you've previously typed. So that's in, that's useful as well. So I've got to Lister again. Now I've removed them. So what I'm going to play about with this today, we well, see I've got I've got Bird open and I've got OLED open. Let's just check both of those work. So there we are again, YouTube. I hate the way that that screen insults me. And then bird hopefully shall will run. Let me just check that that work. That check that it still works. Yeah. All right. I've been thinking about the way these these two work, and actually, I th I believe that this color screen uses this SPI interface, and this black and white screen, or this version of it anyway, uses the I two C version of it. So that's why, without really any extra configuration, I've got the one Pico talking to both of them. I've got it in dual screen mode. Now you might have noticed some of my other videos are quite like DS's. So I thought, right, let's make the bird game into a DS game. Sort of pretty rubbish DS game. I can't really think of anything else to do with it other than put the uh, score down on this OLED. Let's see if I can just reset this Pico. Does it, will it reset? Will the screen go? No, let me... Uh, we do it like that now hopefully it won't it won't boot now yeah so it doesn't boot into anything now that's fine let me just stop it and reconnect all right so there's nothing going on now because i deleted the main and the menu files off there so let's just copy this oled so this works independently if i run it it runs on there so i'm going to copy all of this from here then let me just make sure that bird game still runs I have to um, comment out this should run now. Yeah. And let's make sure I save that onto overwrite that version. Right. So this is the that working now. Let's just check it still works again. And it does. All right. Excellent. Copy everything from there and paste it directly underneath here and you might see the uh, immediate um, problem here um, we're importing the Pico as display but we're also calling the um, OLED display so let's change this so that it's OLED all right so something's happened something sort of broken a little bit still so I this width and this height, I want to change this because I know this, I'm not going to use a constant for this. I'm just going to manually put those in because we use width and height elsewhere um, down here a lot. So I don't want to lose that. So 
let's just set the width to 128 and the height to 32 and then I can get rid of that then hopefully those two bits of code should work independently all oh, right okay so occasionally this happens so I don't know what I've confused probably overridden the memory so let's go into it again let's connect to it again that's fine and if you want to clear this screen if messy stuff's going on uh, we can just right click on it and that's clear again so let's try again will this work now all right so check the buttons still work so I've got the screen the two screens working independently but I need to remember that I have to use OLED to talk to the second screen if I grab this bit of code I don't really need in fact one of the things that might be useful is if I tried to clear the screen first now I think on this I have to do OLED fill and then a color if I recall let's see whether that works uh, so that does it spider math YouTube down the bottom let's put the show just after that which should clear the screen and then I'm going to remove this for the moment. So if I run that again, we should now get a blank screen on the bottom bit. We are we are executing that is live. That's working. Let's play with the score then. So where do we update the score? You know, something we, we only really need to update the score once every time the score goes up. And where do I increment the score? It'll be when we go through a hole on it. Well, there's score zero. It's here somewhere. Draw bird, draw pillar. This is where having everything in the same class would really help me. I'm going to rewrite this at some point and get all of this written in a correct way. So there's the score increment. So I think all we need to do is this bit. Let's move it up the screen a little bit. Let's say it's at, what should we say? It's at 15 and we'll call it score. Let's see whether that does anything. It probably won't do anything until it goes through the first hole. So let me try and be clever enough to get it to go through the first hole, which is when the score routine runs. And brilliantly, nothing happens. Ah, that would be why, because I've set it to 200. 215. It's displaying just a long way down the screen. Let's try again. OK, score has appeared on the screen. So I think it might be an idea then after we've cleared the screen at the start just to set the score up. In fact, before I do that, let's just put the score in there. So hopefully if I do score plus score, obviously this first bit is just a string. Then afterwards, I'm adding to that string this score. Now, if I run this as it stands, I don't think it will work because it can't really add an integer value onto the string value. Well, the programming languages can cope with this, but MicroPython can't, I believe. So let's turn it into a string, str. All right, I think this reminds me of basic. I think you had to do the same thing in basic, but that's going back so far, I can barely remember it. But just so we don't have to play the game to get to that bit, where I first set the score straight after that, let's fire that and put the show on and try this. So there's score zero at the start. Now let's try playing it. Oh. And not very skillfully. It's funny from this angle. All right. Oh, and score. <laughs> the score has gone turned into a blob. Now that's because I'm not clearing the screen when I write the new number on. So all I need to do is get this fill up here, which is where I started. OLED fill. And before I write that score out, I just need to fill it there so let's try that again we go naught score one score two and that's my high score i think if i'm doing it this way to make it proper a dual screen let's get rid of this score so that should take the score off the main screen should maybe speed it up a little bit it's less things to do let's try again There 
there we go score one score two let's reset it i wonder if this is the version of the game i left a bug in it is so notice the bug when you reset that it doesn't reset the score so here i'll do score equals naught now I know I wanted to speed this up and I said that this version of my bird game isn't very efficient. So just one thing that I think would be nice to do. Every time I want to do this, I think I, I think I'd prefer this score thing to be in a separate little procedure. So I'm going to take it out of there and I'm going to add a new procedure in there, which I'm just going to call update score. Somewhere here doesn't really doesn't really matter where I don't think it probably does, but let's just do it here. Def update score and paste that code in. Shall I do this the proper way this time as well? Shift tab to bring it in. That hopefully should update the score. In fact, let's get rid of that there, run that there, and then after that. I just run it for the first time, so I run it straight away. So let's check whether that works and that I've not broken anything. There we go, seems to still be working in an acceptable way. Score three, let's crash, let's reset. Ah, when we reset, the score doesn't reset because when we reset, let's do an update score as well to update the bottom screen at that point. So as soon as you set score to naught, may as well update it then. Try that. So because we've got that in the procedure, it's easier to just call it wherever we want it. And we save in writing out those three separate lines each time. So let's crash, reset and the score resets. So I hope you enjoyed that little video. It uh, was fun to make a, a dual screen Pico system.